After an impressive victory in the Mandra Cup last weekend, the all-conquering Vice Grip returns to headquarters this Saturday night and he's got the Group 2 All-Stars Sprint in his sights. This is a race, of course, that he won last year. Hello, I'm James Broadhurst and joining me on the preview is Hayden King. Hayden, Vice Grip comes into this All-Star Sprint Series as the dog to beat, but he's not the only Greyhound worth consideration through the heat stage, is he? No, absolutely not, James. We've got three cracking heats for this Saturday, and the second heat, we've got a couple of stars going around there, mm. throttle, amplified, so you can't discount them. Vice Grip, he probably is the top seed on the back of that Mandra Cup success, but there are a few challenges with eyes on that throne. Certainly are going to be a really great series. Let's have a look at the heats kicking off with the first one. And in box one here, we've got Granite Song. Chance to rebound here. Now he's back up in the city after running fourth in that Mandra Cup final. Unsee this, another Mandra Cup finals. What happened to him in that race? I think he got squeezed out a little bit uh, early stages there between Vice Grip and Amplified. He came into that final as the fastest qualifier. He's got a middle distance pedigree, as we know. Unsee this. Rostered offs also in this heat. Will he be on or off? on Saturday night, that is the question. And Hayden Bones McCoy placed in both his heat and the final of the Mandra Cup, potentially dispelling some of your doubts about him as a 500 dog or not. I, I leave that question with you. What do you like about this heat? Or what are you, what are you looking towards in this heat? It's an interesting one for sure. Mm. Granite Song, as you mentioned, back to Cannington. I think he was probably a little below par in those two runs down there at Mandra. I was more encouraged by the second run in the final as opposed to the heat. I thought he had his chance there in the heat. Unsee this, as you mentioned, he's sort of peaking at the right time toward this series. Who told Spider and Rostadoff went to the line, flared nostrils apart here on Saturday night. Who told Spider has that more tactical early speed to put himself up there? I think Rostadoff needs a bit of interference probably to see him win the heat. And then you've got dogs like West on Finn, Bones McCoy out wide. Bones McCoy certainly an early pace angle coming across. So there's a few moving parts, but uh, Granite Song Unsee, this probably the two favourite elects I'd expect. You dodged the question there. Bones McCoy, 500 metre dog or not a 500 metre? A couple of weeks back you said maybe not. What what did you take out of those two runs in the Mandra Cup series? He was impressive in those two runs. He showed he's got that electric early speed to put himself up on the pace. He's not a strong 520 no. metre dog, I'll say that. But... Um, he surprised me in the sense that he was able to really go on with it and made the Mandra Cup final. And then again, after that, I was Prominent expecting way, yeah. I was expecting a good performance in the Mandra Cup, but he certainly delivered that. So coming here into the All-Stars series, another one that's peaking at the right time. First run up at Kangton, by the way, since this time last year for over the 520, that is for Bones McCoy here. All right, let's have a look at the second heat. And one dog probably... Well, I would say one dog stands out, but there's actually two here that stand out uh, quite prominently here. The first of those being the dog out of box two, Throttle, first race since the final of that National Sprint uh, Championship in Sydney. That was in late August. Go back to the WA final, the WA Sprint final. After that race, Dave Robartson commented that he thought that Throttle was the best dog he'd ever had. Now this is a guy who's <laughs> had plenty of really good ones, including high earner, at one stage the highest stake earner in the nation. He's claimed that uh, he's saying that Thrall's the best he's ever had. High praise indeed. Before we discuss the rest of the field, Hayden, what do you think? I mean, not for us to judge whether he's right or wrong, he's got the wealth of experience, Dave Robartson, but from what you've seen, what, what do you make of those comments? When he gets a clear run, when he's on throttle, I think he's as good, if not the best dog we have here in Western Australia. So I can completely understand where he's coming from, and he knows the dog better than anyone. So uh, it's hard to refute anything Dave says in regard to throttle, and I think he's bang on the money. All right, OK. So obviously a, a big standout here for this heat, but uh, out there in box eight, Amplified, another superstar chaser. Look, I think lost no admirers uh, running second in that Mandra Cup final behind Vice Grip there. Uh, lovely greyhound. 
uh, isn't she? I think she's a big threat here out in box eight. I think she will be a big threat, providing she can get up on pace and lead. Just a case of how far back throttle is from Amplified. If he's, say, within a couple of lengths heading down the back straight, then I think it's game on. I think Throttle might be able to reel in Amplified. But Amplified, in her own right, a very talented chaser. And then away from those, you've got a dog like Jimmy's Decision, who really hummed through the early mid-sections of that 600-metre race here at Cannington on Saturday. And he just knocked up a little bit late, but he still had more than enough in reserve. And others in the race are going to be at big prices. They probably need a bit of luck. In saying that, Firecloud was a dog that I wanted to follow out of last start because he didn't actually begin that well. And then he mustered up, found the front, and was pretty brave in defeat. Still had a length and a half lead around that home turn. So Firecloud's a dog I want to be on in something easier. Okay, yeah, for sure. And generally a good early speed dog. Uh, then this one maybe looks a bit uh, overmatched there. Fire Cloud. Look, we are going to have a look at the third heat, but before we do that, Hayden, let's go back to Monday at Northam, where Electrify took out the Vince Caruana WA Bread Country Cup final. Electrified was only away fairly from the lemon and gets a little bump on the turn as Rip and Sheen leads them early. So Electrified has to work hard in the back straight here, but he eventually breaks clear as they approach the final corner and then he is off and away. So long and thanks for all the fish. He leaves the rest of the field in the Avon Valley dust as he charges home to claim this one by two lengths over Larkin Manelli. Now as we have a look at the field here for Heat 3, Hayden Electrified in box 4 here. He's got 12 wins from 14 career starts. He's 9 of 10 over the 520 at Cannington. Obviously coming in off that winning sojourn at Northam. Super exciting talent. In most other races he's favourite, but in this one comes up against Vice Grip. What more can we say about Vice Grip? Nothing more. He's a champ. Also, I have a question for you. You said uh, he was away for all the fish in the Avon Valley. What kind of fish can you catch in the Avon Valley? <laughs> well, <laughs> is they got a river there, don't they? Yeah. Somewhere. I I'm genuinely the curious. Avon, like, the Avon River. If, if you know, <laughs> let me know in the comments because next time I'm up there at Burwood Park, I'll throw a line in and I'll see what I can catch. But anyway, yeah, Vice Grip, uh, three in a row in top form. Looks the hardest to beat again, will be odds on and deservedly so. But Electrified looks the chief threat, another that's won two in a row. So hard to refute its winning claims. The rest likely to be double figures and above, I'd say. But Vice Grip, providing he does everything right, he should be able to get away with it. Electrified looks the chief threat. Yeah, absolutely. I guess two dogs at different stages of their career. Electrified up and coming. Uh, looks to be a star to me. We don't quite know that yet, but looks like he's got star potential. Of course, Vice Grip is a star. He's a star. He's a champion. Any other dogs that could possibly throw a fly in the ointment here? If something went really awry with one of those two, I guess Stone Cold Augie could come into play with Gangnam Manelli, a lesser extent Rip and Tomahawk. I think it's hard for West on Fever to win, particularly over 520 metres, but I think something would need to go wrong with one of the top two in the betting and uh, Vice Group. I think he's won 467,000 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's a big amount of bucks. And a, a big chance to add to that tally through this series. Okay, that's the three heats of the All Stars Sprint at Cannington on Saturday night. Plenty to look forward to there. We've also got a 10 race card at Mandra on Friday night and I thought the 405 metre free to all Hayden was worth closer inspection. A lot to like about this field. From box one here, Fabriola Ali looked blue the jump last week but should appreciate the rails alley in this one. My boy, Pennywise, we've got Halloween coming up Hayden so Pennywise uh, could uh, come into play here. He's a last start winner. Hiya, Georgie. Thank you. Is that clip? <laughs> Never gets old, eh? <laughs> I love that. I could just keep playing that on. Look, look, that win from Pennywise a couple of weeks back uh, was at Cannington, and he's had a week or so to freshen up here. Armatory Arrow is racing well for trainer Jackie Wilson. He steps up to Free Royal Company for the first time. Where all cut, probably in career best form, has won his parts two, including a big result last weekend in this grade when he knocked off Rage on Zatara. Admittedly, Rage on Zatara did find some bother, uh, but 
where or cut beat him out early and that's what set up the victory there blackpool bolt has been thereabouts and generally begins well if you're looking for a roughie i think you could probably do worse than him and there's Velarchi there. there's a few question marks around this dog what what's going on with Velarchi? i think if he's right i think he'll win okay blackpool bolt probably gives him really good cover across early blackpool bolt surged out and just got a little bit tight over the Final stages over the 380 here on Saturday, and Velarchi drawn immediately outside him. That could work out perfectly, and he does handle a wide box anyway. Aston Casino's drawn out in eight, but all of that action happening underneath, I think if Velarchi is somewhere near his top, he'll win. Okay. Right. Simple as that. Yep. Fabriola Ali from box one. Oh, well, obviously there's plenty <laughs> of other chances, and I'm operating on the if, but... Right. I'm just trying to be dog dogmatic and throw <laughs> okay. myself under the bus. Okay, all right. Velarchi there. Strong, very confident uh, from Hayden. Uh, dog's just been slightly off. We have been waiting for Velarchi to get back to that peak. Haven't quite seen it yet. Look, who knows? Friday night could be the night. Right, that's the weekend ahead of us. We've also got racing at Cannington tonight, the Wednesday card. And look, Hayden, I'm looking forward to race eight. Even though it's a small field, we've got It's a Dime versus favour Manelli couldn't separate those two though in the running so I'm avoiding that race. Is it favour? 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 I called it favour last week. Okay, probably favour then. You're probably right. I'm yeah, probably like right. someone trying to say father and struggling. <laughs> Father, Manelli, it's a dime. That's tonight, race eight. I can't split them. I'm not going towards that race. I'm heading towards race four. The dog jumping out of box six, Lupini Manelli. I think he's been a little bit unlucky in his past two starts. Has been out of wide draws. Got box six this week, but he's got a vacant draw on the inside. I think he's a good chance to lead this one. Probably only has to get around the four. Uh, that's Joe the Lion to get the lead here. Uh, if he does lead, I think he goes on to win this. But I suspect, Hayden, that you disagree with me. Yeah, I've gone value. Race four, number seven. So we're locking horns again. West on Comet. I think this Bring dog's terrifically priced. I think he's a really good each-way chance, so I'll take you on. OK, West on Comet for you. Lupini Manelli for me in race four tonight. That is the preview. Really looking forward to this All-Star Sprint Series. Remember, of course, if you can't make it to the track, we will catch you next week on the Wednesday preview.